It's new. Okay. So, how are you? I'm dying. Good. Okay. <laughs> so now, so tell me, uh, so just um, give us your full name and where you were born and when. My name, uh, George Evie Matheson. I was born in Southampton mm -hmm. in 1925. Okay. And so uh, you have a twin brother. I have a twin brother, right. Douglas. Mm -hmm. He was born at the same time. Oddly enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me about your, um, just um, you and Doug growing up in Southampton, what it was like. Like, where did you live first? We lived over on Morpeth Street there, mm -hmm. in that big home over there. Mm -hmm. Uh, about two blocks from the lake, which was handy for us. Mm -hmm. And why was that? We go swimming. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. And how long did you live in that house for? Oh, from, till about forty-two. So that was forty-three. So how long was that? About eighteen years. Yeah. 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 And was that a how big a house was that? Is it a big house? Oh, big house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about four bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Uh, one inside bathroom, one outside bathroom. Now, do you have a lot of people hanging around, like with all the grandpa's uncles and that? Was there a lot of people coming no. along in that house? No. <coughs> the only time we had uh, visitors would be uh, mother's brother or sister coming up from Brantford or London for a day. Mm -hmm. Other than that, very, f very yeah. few, yeah. And how come? Like, what, is that just because everybody's working all the time, or...? Well, there was no more of the family around. Yeah, well, so, uh, well, let's go to the uncles then. So your your father, who was Leland, yes. had, was one of how many brothers? There were four other brothers, and two and sisters. Two sisters, yeah. and, and tell us who they were, and where, where did Leland fall in the... Well, so Leland was the baby. The baby. Yeah, and two sisters, uh, Margaret, who was in Toledo, uh -huh. and Anne, who was in Toronto. And uh, Simon, which was a nick they're all nicknames. Mm -hmm. yeah. Simon, Pooty, yeah. uh, Heck, yeah. and uh, Peach, all nicknames, yeah. uh, all lived in Southampton. In Southampton? All lived so, in Southampton. Well, so they were in Southampton? Yep. Yeah. So they weren't hanging around the house? Like, uh, no. No? No. Sunday, when we were kids, Dad would take Doug and I and we'd go down to uh, oh, a net shed where the men nets, the guys and Instead of going to church, they'd go bug off and go to these net sheds and mm -hmm. work for a while or just chat. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we did when we were kids, just go to the net shed. But that was, I don't remember them coming up to our house. We went to their place yeah. quite often, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. And did they have big families too, like Simon and... Uh... Uh, Simon had uh, two boys, two girls. Peach had two boys. Uh, Pootie didn't have any, and Heck didn't have any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did they all fish, or what was their what kind of? Uh, Pootie had a boat of his own. Simon had a, a tug of his own. Uh, Heck uh, used to ca captain our boat. We had a boat, mm -hmm. ninety-five foot boat, yeah. and he was the captain on that. Mm -hmm. And Peach. Uh, at one time worked in Toledo, and then when he came back up here, he did carpenter work mostly. Mm -hmm. He was very good at that. Yeah. yeah. And as we know, what's, what did we find out about Peach? Well, the yeah, yeah, when he wasn't drinking in the beach in the Walker House, he was uh, making a bar there for them. <laughs> and it's still part of it, still there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which is pretty cool. It was cool, yeah. 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 Now, now, what was, uh, so Leland was fishing too? Um, he, he owned the boat. He owned the boat. He didn't so go out he on it. Go out? No. no. He, he had the hardware store. Oh, he had the hardware store. Mm, right? At the same oh. time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he only had the boat from about uh, 1935 to maybe 1941 or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was all. And yeah. how, when did he, why did he sell it? Just. Oh, uh, the fishing was getting light. There wasn't as right. many fish. And uh, yeah. other than that, I, I don't remember why he sold it. Yeah. And you were telling me he used to go and he'd have to sell the fish like the guys in Detroit and Chicago and all that. Like he had to do a lot of marketing to move that stuff. It was all done on a telephone. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he could call Chicago, New York, Boston, Detroit, Toronto. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would bump the price up 
by maybe a half a cent, a cent, cent and a half a pound mm -hmm. by telling one guy that uh, somebody else offered him this, you see. Mm -hmm. But when you were getting uh, two, three ton of fish yeah. back then, it was a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. And then he, did he have his own truck for trucking it down? Oh, no, no. It went out so, on the railway. On the railway? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything went out the railway. Yeah. So that was a lot of stuff to do to handle the fishing plus brokering the fish. And the boat, and then the hardware store as well. Yeah, well, quite often the uh, the people would call and ask them if they could buy the fish. Mm -hmm. They know that the boat would be coming in, yeah. in out three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, so that wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the hardware store kept him busy. Yeah, he, was pretty busy guy. he was a busy man. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And and so what did you and Doug uh, do when you were young, young Mathesons running around and so on? As far as working, did you have your working. Uh, from a fairly early age, or did you oh yeah, a job or hook no, he didn't. We worked on <laughs> on the nets and uh, in the ice house. Mm -hmm. uh, when the boats were coming in, we had a there was cakes of ice they'd store in the winter time mm -hmm. in a shed, yeah. and we had to go down and wash them because they put, stored them in sawdust, wash them off, and run them through a chopper into a big bin. Mm -hmm. When the fish came in. We would have to uh, uh, put the get the fish in them, weigh them, get them in a box, mm -hmm. ice them, nail them up, and then uh, a fellow would come along with a horse and a buggy, and he'd take them down to the station, and away they'd go. Yeah. And once that was done, uh, the nets they were cotton nets then; they had to be air dried. So we had reels. You've probably seen yeah. the reel, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And we would. Uh, roll them up on the reels, spread them on the reels, so they would be about six foot wide. Yeah. And all those nets had to be reeled up and, uh, and uh, to dry, mm -hmm. or they'd rot. Yeah. Yeah. So that kept Doug and I busy. And you were doing that every day? Well... Was that boat out every day? No, but it would, it would go out, mm -hmm. uh, say out uh, 45 miles straight out, mm -hmm. and back in the next day, they'd mm -hmm. lift a lot of nets yeah. How many fish? I guess you wouldn't count the number of fish. And everything was weighed. Yeah. yeah. So it's just about how many pounds of fish then would they bring in? It varied from half a ton. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest one they got in was about three and a half tons. Right. No. That's a lot of fish. A lot of fish. <laughs> a lot of fish. Right. Yeah. No, that's huge. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. So that's about all we did. And but now how old were you when you were doing that? Oh, 11, 12, 13, yeah. in there. Uh, yeah. You know, he was almost the same almost age, the same. just about the same age, yeah. Yeah. And then back when we were seven or eight, mm -hmm. uh, someone owed Dad $10 for something he bought in the store and couldn't pay for. Mm -hmm. So he gave him a saxophone. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was our toy for a while. Doug had to go out in the side in the yard mm -hmm. and toot on that thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we would both do it, yeah. but that's how we started on the saxophone. No lessons, just <coughs> just uh, out there playing. Somebody showed us how to where the fingers go, and yeah. that's about the end so of that. No music program, programs at school, then you just no. There was no nothing at school. Yeah. No. Now you must have somebody that was fairly knowledgeable. I mean, to sort of get you to the point where you could play jazz music. Uh, no, like just time. Just, just time. Just yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. So you just worked out of yourself. Not around here. There was nobody. There was one boy uh, played the uh, sax one a bit, and he showed us where the fingers go. Yeah. 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 And of course, we've been taking piano. Mm -hmm. Ada forced us to take piano, whether we liked it or not. So we knew a bit about music. Yeah. So that just came evolved from yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. So we made a few dollars during our lifetime. Indeed. With those horns. Yeah. yeah. So when do you think you started playing, like making money with it? Fourteen years old. Yeah. Lower known sound. Yeah. First dance we played. Yeah. yeah. Probably made about three or four dollars mm -hmm. each. Yeah. Which is probably big, a big deal then. Well, to us was it never made that kind of money before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was huge. Now, how would you get over there? Uh. Would Grandpa have driven you over. No, 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 no. There's a the. A couple of guys from town mm -hmm. had a, a piano player and a, mm -hmm. a drummer. Oh yeah, so they drive and, 
yeah, and there was a guy over on sound that played uh, violin or something. Mm -hmm. So we'd go over in there. And that, so that was the first one. Yeah. Yeah. And then it started to go a little more mm -hmm. until we came out of the service, the Navy. Then we got into Salva Beach, into the bigger mm -hmm. pavilions and so forth. Yeah. And that carried on. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's good. Now, what about um, the, uh, uh, as far as the hardware store goes? And, uh, and and even the uh, the coal thing, you guys used to deliver coal and that kind of thing? Yeah. Well, when we come out of the Navy. Yeah. Uh, and how old were you when you went in and when you went out? 18 and uh, 20, half, uh, over 20. So it was about two and a half years in there. Yeah. yeah. And when we come back, mm -hmm. uh, dear old dad thought we'd uh, enlarge the hardware business and get a lumber business going and a coal business. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. Yeah. And just kept, uh, built the coal bins down the downtown and I spent lots of days down in those, shoveling that darn coal. <laughs> yeah. And lumber. Yeah. That was another big thing. And so would you just pay like a regular salary like you would any guy? No. Kind he he kind of or? brought us into the business. Yeah. Yeah. But we only took so much out a week. Yeah. Like I think started around forty dollars a week mm -hmm. and you worked six days a week yeah not a lot of money but it kept yeah. us going yeah yeah and now what were you when you met dorothy what were you doing now how old were you then when you when you met dorothy hmm 21 21 uh-huh yeah and so that was so you were playing in the band then plus uh, working at the hardware store Oh yeah, we played in the band yeah. uh, in the summertime, three nights a week. Mm -hmm. Worked in the hardware store, six days a week. Mm -hmm. So we're busy kids. Yeah. yeah. And, and so you and Doug were both essentially doing the same thing, though. Yep. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's good. And then, and when you met, um, so you met Dorothy. Like Dorothy gave us her story already. When you guys met, uh -huh. was it the same? Your story the same? Yeah, I met her at the same time she yeah. met me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, was a love at first sight for you? You sort of I had a I my uh, heart started to beat a bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and this is when you're up on the bandstand. You just saw her, or yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you thought, well, you saw her come in the door, and right. I knew that there was a girl coming from Windsor as nurse. Oh yeah. But I had no idea other than anything other than that. Yeah. But of course, it's a small town, so you know everybody, I guess, right? So you knew everybody. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, and Doug already had a, a girlfriend at that time? So he, he, he had a girlfriend, yeah. Anything? No, 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 no. He wouldn't do that. I wouldn't let him. Very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a certain honor among the brothers? Did no. You ever, did you guys ever sort of compete for the same girls? No. No? No. Never? No. No? Now, now did you guys ever, being twins, like not with the girls, but just mess people up by, by doing a... Oh, we wouldn't do a thing like that. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> if they miss... Yeah took us one for the other mm -hmm. then we didn't have to tell them they were right or wrong exactly that's about all that yeah fun we had with yeah. that so yeah. in school or something you couldn't uh, no do anything like have somebody show up for class and, no of no you'd probably be in the same class i guess yeah all the time. yeah mm -hmm. and the teachers knew yeah so they could they could pick you up yep mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. yeah now when did you go to um the uh so you went to business college in owen sound yes now when did that come in at about the same time? No, that was uh, when we were 17. Oh, before the war? Before the war. Yeah. Uh, we were getting, all our buddies were, had gone, joined the service, and uh, uh, I, th I think we were about 17 or close to 17. Yeah. And we wanted to get out of the school here mm -hmm. you know, and join the service. So we talked mom and dad into letting us go to business college for a year mm -hmm. until we could get into the old enough to join the service. So yeah. that's when we got the business card, oh. you know, in sound. Yeah. 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 And you both went. Both went. I yeah. Didn't know that. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and just for the record, uh, give me that story about um, you two trying to join up for the Air Force when you, because um, that was your first choice, wasn't it? To yeah. Go in the Air Force? Uh -huh. well, so what happened when you went down to sign up for the Air Force? Well, so we, we, sound? we went to Own Sound, yeah, and he yeah. started to sound the medical. Yeah. And, uh, he found out we had a little problem with color. And why was, the, and what was his first clue? 
Well, he gave us, there are tests they yeah. have, yeah. Yeah, but isn't it twins have a predisposition to being... Well, happy? we found that out in London. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, afterwards or before? After. After? Yeah, oh. we, what happened, uh, he gave us a test in own sound and he said, uh, I think you boys have a problem with your eyes. He says, we're going to have to send you to London mm -hmm. to do a, what they called a pin test. Mm -hmm. So they sent us to London. We went down there. And we failed it miserably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we went over around the corner and joined the Navy. Very simple as that. Yeah, when we had to go below deck. We couldn't yeah. go on deck you know, because of the color blindness. Yeah. You know? yeah. So that's the end of that story. <laughs> <laughs> but now, was Doug on a. Where did Doug end up? He wasn't on the Mic Mac, too, was he? No, he was on uh, Orangeville. Orangeville. It was a Corvette. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, and was he sort of did the same thing as you, like more like shakedown because you were a little late getting in? Or did he, um, he didn't see any action on that? No, 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 no. Yeah. And so, so just give us a little lowdown on Halifax during the um, war when you went out there. So you're like 19? 18. 18. Mm -hmm. And you've like never been out of Southampton really? Oh, about a, a well, little bit. Sound, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Port Elgin. London, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so here you are in Halifax during the war. So what was, what was that like? What did they do with you when you got there? Like, well, it was more training. Kids, yeah. More training, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of Navy there, of course. Yeah, so it's yeah. a pretty crazy town? It, uh, it was active. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So be, I, mean, I imagine it'd be like a lot of adrenaline. I mean, just it's people are getting ready to go, you know, into the work here. They're figuring. It right didn't there. pump you up that much at that age. Yeah. No. No, you you uh, you knew what you were there for, and you, uh, part of it was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? Weren't you kind of excited about getting into it though, if you if you could, or? All you were excited about was getting aboard ship and getting out yeah. to sea. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how much did they train you there, and how, how long did... Oh, training took six months or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then and then you got assigned to the ship at that point? Yeah. six months of training? Mm -hmm. Drafted to a ship. Drafted to the ship. That's what they called it, So yeah. you could have been drafted to one that was already... Of course, I guess it's got to be one that's in port or something, or... Well, actually, the one I was drafted to wasn't completed, wasn't built. They were building it there. Yeah. So I was drafted to it before it was built, mm -hmm. and I stayed with it for... Year, year and a half. Yeah. yeah. And so, what did you do while it was being built? Well, oh, I had to go down every day and do book work. Yeah. Yeah. Book work. So, what? what kind well, that of was what I did. I was. Yeah. Uh, did the book work for the engineering department. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, oh, okay. So, as they're building it, you've got to keep track of. Yep. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. going on? Yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And then, then once you once you got commissioned, so then like you're out, you have to do sort of the local sort of shakedown cruises. So you went down to Bermuda, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, and that, that was, was for the extent of your of a shakedown. Yeah. yeah. And we had to go. Oh, I think we went over to the Azores off the off Africa. Oh, really? And pulled uh, one of these landing craft back to Bermuda. Really? Yeah. yeah the landing craft was uh, disabled some way. Yeah. So you towed it all the way back. Towed it all the way back. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And and so was the was the war. Over, like, what point did the war end there? Uh, and now, well, is that just the 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 European war? The one, the, the European theater ended. Uh, I think it was forty-five. Yeah. And uh, then I would signed up to go to to the Pacific. Yeah. And I come home on leave. Mm -hmm. And before I got back, I think uh, they dropped the bomb over there, and that finished that. that, was that? So yeah, but I went back to Halifax and. Mm -hmm. Uh, stayed in for another six, seven months, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that was about that. Yeah. Okay. And then what happened? Okay. <laughs> in your hurry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what? Um, when uh, things? Um, so when your six months was up there, it was just like, well, see you later, or did they give that, you? Uh, no, I had a chance to join the Navy, the permanent Navy, but yeah. didn't take it. Yeah. Yeah. And, but did they give uh, you like a bonus, like for like? Sort of a, a packet of money or yeah, a big know, a deal. Of land in the new <laughs> no, West or something. no. So um, uh, we got a, a a bursary of I don't know what it was, a thousand dollars maybe. Mm -hmm. 
you know, for being such good boys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thousand and bucks. and a handshake. Yeah. Well, a thousand bucks would be pretty good, eh? It was good. Yeah. yeah. I think it was a hundred thousand. I forget. Yeah. It's a long time ago. It was. Yeah. yeah. And then you came back. So just to make it short, so you came back, and then. Dad had the business start yeah. to the uh, lumber and coal started. Yeah. Plans for you guys already yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Because we had said that we would come back. Mm -hmm. you know? Didn't have anything else to do. Yeah. So he was already to expand the business. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you come back and end up getting married. It was a couple of years later, yeah. Years later. Yeah. And then you ultimately, and then so within two years after being married, you moved to Sarnia? Oh, no. Five. Was it five? Mm hmm. Okay. We moved to Sarnia yeah. uh, end of 52. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and had. had Leland had had his aneurysm already by that point? Did... Leland had his aneurysm a week after I left. I went down to Sarnia first yeah. and uh, uh, came back. Mm -hmm. And the, f the first week I came back, mm -hmm. uh, you were, and Mom were still here. Mm -hmm. uh, he had the aneurysm on a Sunday morning. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, the... But I'd signed all the papers down there that yeah. week. And giving them a deposit, and I, I couldn't back out of it. Yeah. yeah. So that's the end of that. Yeah, bad timing there. Bad timing, yeah. I didn't realize that. So yeah. then, so Doug had to run the store up here. Yeah, he ran it until, yeah. until he got out of it. Now, was he doing something, well, and then he was selling furniture afterwards, after he built, after he got out of the store. Right? He went into the factory as sales manager. Yeah, that was after he sold the store. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And then why did you pick Sarnia? Why did you end up in Sarnia? I was out looking for a place to buy, mm -hmm. and I found this little place in Sarnia, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought, well, that'll, that'll be all right down there. Yeah. Wasn't oh, was it, it a hardware store already? It was a small hardware store built after the war mm -hmm. on uh, gratuities that the guy, a couple of guys got, and they built this little store yeah. and uh, put a bit of hardware in it. Mm -hmm. So 52, uh, that's when we bought it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't know that way. And what was the store called originally? Remember? Crescent Hardware. Oh, of course. Yeah. Because it was on a crescent. There you are. Yeah, off the and yeah, you, off E Street. When did you change the name to Matheson's? Because I can remember I can remember Crescent Hardware sponsoring. I've forgotten. And stuff. I don't remember. Yeah. No, okay. It was a while after. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and so then you kept the store until we'll just race forward here. So you kept the store until you were 65? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then sold it to a guy who's, uh, and he, does he still call it Matheson Hardware? He's the kept the name, the name. So it's still Matheson Still called Matheson Hardware, yeah. 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 Which is and he's done very well in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. But uh, we enlarged the store mm -hmm. from the original size, of course. Mm -hmm. And it was doing very well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we won't go into skate sharpening or anything? No, we won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, so do you have any, and of course you raised two ch fabulous children. Fabulous mother. children, yeah. Uh, and do you have any uh, anecdotes, anything? Um, uh, no, not no, really. Kind of strikes you as, um, no. as funny from that time? Of course, you were working a lot. I was working six and a half days a week. Yeah. And playing uh, yeah. for dances and so forth, another at minimum twice a week. Mm -hmm. So I, I was a busy kid. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Yeah. yeah. How's that? That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. I'll let you off the hook. Thank you. <laughs>